Increasing women's access to sustainable energy and the opportunities it presents is a necessity for poverty alleviation and women's economic empowerment. The Southern African Females in Energy Efficiency has ventured into mentorship programs at tertiary institutions, promoting educational interest in the energy sector as a career option. Let me introduce you to my guests now. In our C-Point studio, uh, we've got Notkolo Kalana. She is the MD of Energy house and the chairperson of safi so nice to have you on the program welcome thank you leanne thank you for having me and in my studio here in johannesburg edna joy january she's a chemical engineer student doing her third year at the university of johannesburg and looking as beautiful as ever it's so nice to have you in studio welcome thank you so much for having me Leanne. it's an thank absolute you. pleasure um i i sort of i'm going to start off with you Notkolo, and and talk about the, the uh, young girls getting into this industry, but, but let's actually take a step back. How did you get into the sector? I got into the sector about four to five years ago, Lian, one of the independent pop producers that was developing wind farms in the Eastern Cape needed somebody who is experienced in economic development and building communities on the ground because they are mandated by the Department of Energy to develop the communities in the 50 kilometer radius where they are building these projects. So somebody told them about me and they called me wherever I was working. They said, you were the only person we were told could do this work. And once I got into the sector, I was hooked. Yeah, I, ca I can imagine. And there, there's a lot of opportunities, no doubt. Do you find that there are more and more opportunities for women in the sector? There, there are many more opportunities for women in this sector, Leanne, especially the renewable sector, because it's new in the country. And the department that's driving it, the Department of Energy, is very intentional about making sure that women are involved. Just last year, together with women in oil um, and, and, and energy, the Department of Energy went on a roadshow in the whole country to present to women, this is what's happening in the renewable sector and energy as a whole. And these are the specific uh, opportunities available for women because every independent power producer is expected to have some preferred preferential procurement opportunities for women, but besides preferential procurement opportunities, there are opportunities in economic development, in environmental impact assessments. There's just so much that's coming up because of these IPP programs. Yeah. I'm going to bring Edna into the conversation now. We've got Edna in studio. She attended one of your breakfasts that you had, this mentorship breakfast. Edna, it's, 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 it's great to see that or when we were chatting off air, you were telling me that in your class of about maybe 140 students, about 70 of them are women. Yes. I mean, that is, that is very encouraging. That is very true. And I'm quite glad that more women want to do engineering. That's what we should do. We should try to equali equalize the gender inequality in, in the engineering industry. We should all go for what we want. It doesn't matter whether you're female or male. Why did you want to go into engineering? What attracted you to the industry? Specifically chemical engineering, I'm glad you asked that, is the fact that I wanted to be part of um, a group that offers solutions to the society. I wanted to feel like I'm important, I'm contributing something towards the society, and that's why I wanted to do chemical engineering, because I know it embraces a lot of opportunities into branching into bringing about solutions like the energy crisis we're facing, yeah. that is all part of chemical engineering and resolving it. Fantastic. I mean, being a part of this mentorship program and, and breakfast that you went to, I mean, what did it entail? What was that all about? The breakfast mentorship program was quite amazing. It was very empowering. I got into touch with very phenomenal women. So what I learned from it is the fact that there's a lot of opportunity in the energy sector. It encouraged me to seek an, a career, career opportunity in the energy sector, most specifically to go do environmental engineering. It was also a very motivational um, kind of uh, environment where I got to meet a lot of women who came from humble beginnings, who've worked so hard for themselves, who are looking into bringing about solutions into the society, being part of something bigger than just your career. Yeah, that's, uh, I, I love hearing stories like that, and I can imagine it inspires you even more. Um, Notolo, is that the idea, is, is to inspire these young women that are coming up in through the ranks, going there, and these are the women in the faces that are going to be taking over this industry, we hope. Exactly, Leanne. What um, SAFI and its committee, uh, as part of the South African uh, Energy Efficiency Council, we realized that there was not enough representation of women 
um, uh, performing really influential roles in energy. And uh, we, we designed a program starting from this year that we're going to make sure that we, we increase and, and, and magnify the voice of women in the sector. And we knew that the best place to start actually was at universities because that's where we still have a chance to influence the young minds and make them aware that there's more to energy um, uh, than just only having engineers. And there's so much more opportunities for young businesswomen as well because Safi is made of females who are running their own businesses in energy as well, but also those who are still in the corporate sector and are playing an influ in, in influential role in energy and sustainable development. But so we want to influence to have more females in the energy sector. Nicole, I'm going to ask you two questions in one, and I'm going to ask you to answer them very quickly. Just in terms of, okay. of your relationship with the Department of Energy, what is that? What kind of relationship do you have with them? And what about in smaller communities as well? I mean, how do you, how do you go in there? And, and work with these communities? Um, the Department of Energy is very open to all associations that build up women. So when they are running their programs to reach out to women, they invite a lot of organizations. So we always partner with them in, in, in reaching out to different women in the country. And the role of communities, most of the IPP programs, Leanne, are in really rural uh, uh, communities where there's very high unemployment and uh, the IPPs have a 20 year power purchase agreement. And during that 20 year uh, period, they have an opportunity actually, and are mandated by the, by the Department of Energy to spend a certain percentage of their turnover in these communities over 20 years. So they have this unique opportunity. That's why they always bring uh, people who are specialized in sustainable economic development to advise them on how best to invest in these communities. So by the time they leave these communities after 20 years, they are completely different and self-empowered. So that is the connection between the IPPs, rural communities, and the Department of Energy. All right. I'm going to have to leave it there, but I thank you for the unbelievable work you're doing. And uh, thanks for joining us in our, uh, in our C Point studios. And for you, just to see the, thank the, you, Leanne. the fresh face and the, the, the unbelievable new face coming up for the, the, the energy sector. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for Such having me. Such a pleasure me. to meet you and, and good luck to you and your, and your students in your third year. Uh, Edna, of course, is a third year student. Edna Joy January, chemical engineering student. And uh, Notolo Kalane is the chair of the Females in Energy Management in SA, doing some fabulous work in inspiring young women to follow in this particular area. All right, the time now. Gosh, it's exactly six.